So, Kegs, congratulations on extending your contract at Southampton. How does it feel? I mean, I think it's great. Delighted to be here, obviously. I know the club well now. I've been here for a couple of years, so... Obviously, it's a place that I know very well, all the people around there, all the staff, players, so I think it's good to keep staying and keep developing here. And just to look back on the past couple of seasons, obviously, it's been a very successful time for you. How has it been having time here and settling in here? I mean, it's been great. Obviously, it's my first academy that I've been to, so being able to experience what I've experienced so far, being around the first team in the 23 setup, so I think it's been great. I mean, obviously, now it's time to kick on even further for myself. Yeah, like you say, looking ahead, obviously a big season ahead of us. What are your thoughts and hopes for this season? I just want to keep taking every opportunity that I can get. So whether that be here with the first team or maybe alone somewhere or just, just keep every opportunity I can get, I just want to keep um, progressing. Definitely. And why is Southampton so special? What has made you stay here for the past couple of years and for you to extend your contract here? I mean, I think the culture here is great. I mean, the staff and the players, everyone's trying to work together to come better themselves. So. Obviously, the support here is great, and then the facilities as well. So I think, for me, this is the best place to be going forward. And I know I'll get opportunities going forward, so I think it's happy to be here. And obviously, you had your first team debut back in 2021 against Shrewsbury in the FA Cup. How much has that pushed you to keep going and to keep pushing for that first team spot? Yeah, it feels like a while now, wasn't it? Last year, but obviously, that was a great experience, being around the lads and then being able to play at St Mary's for the first time. I mean, I want to have that feeling again, don't I? So, now I'm going to keep on kicking on so I can maybe hopefully do that again. So Sam, congratulations on signing your contract today. Yeah. How does it feel? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's really good. I'm really excited. Obviously, I had a tough season, so I'm just happy to be able to get the chance to show what I can do again. And obviously, you've been here for a couple of years now. Yeah. So how does it feel to be at Southampton? Yeah, it's a great privilege. Like, all the staff are good. Um, I think I've adjusted well, like, being away from home and stuff. It's um, been a challenge, but... I've enjoyed it, um, yeah, and I just, obviously it's a bit easier when you're playing football, like you create mates, quite easy. Yeah. And obviously you've had a little bit of time out, how yeah. excited are you to get back in and playing on that pitch again? Yeah, it's been a while, but I just want to say like thanks to the physios and stuff who've like helped me throughout like the tough period and yeah, I'm glad that I'm in the position where I can be playing football again and get back to enjoying it. And looking to the season ahead, what are your hopes and aspirations for this season? Uh, I think first of all, just like to get a few games under my belt, just make sure my body's in like the right condition for the following season, and then yeah, just kick on from there. Really, get a few games under my belt, and then hopefully stay fit, and then progress from there. Sam, congratulations on signing your contract today. Thank How you. does it feel? It feels great. Been here since I was eight, so it's a proud moment for me. One that I've always dreamed of one day signing and yeah, really happy. And then obviously we've got the season ahead to look forward to. I know you're injured at the moment, but what are your hopes and aspirations for this season coming? Obviously main focus at the moment is just continue to work hard, get back and then just maintain fitness really. Hopefully get a good run in the team, second half of the season hopefully and just help the team reach our goals this season. And like you said, you've been here for a long time now. What makes Saints so special for you? Yeah, for me, the staff, coaches, players, just second to none. You know, been here for so long. I've been through, seen the place grow, seen myself grow as a player, as a person. And just every day, you've got the best facilities, best people around you to improve and continue improving. And just on that, you've been here for a long time and so have a lot of the other lads that you play with. Just how important is the team and the people you've got around you here? Massive, you know, as much as you can perform yourself, you need your teammates on and off the pitch to drive you, staff as well. And yeah, I've got some really close friends that I've known for years, so it's just continue working with them. So really happy here. Yeah. Ollie, congratulations on signing your contract extension. How does it feel to be here for another year? No, it feels good. Obviously, I arrived this time last year, and um, I felt like that I added some value to the to the young boys. And um, you know, thankfully, the club feel the same. And um, I'm looking forward to getting going again and um, and uh, helping as many people as I can. And just how nice has it been to be back at the club where it all started for you? No, it's been great. Um, obviously, the club's changed a lot since since I left, um, but it's great to see the club doing doing so well. Um, and 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 yeah, it's, it, it was a special time when I was. 16, 17, 18, 19, and um, you know, it's been just a special now I'm a little bit older. So, um, yeah, now looking forward to, to uh, getting going again. 
and reflecting on last season, obviously a season of mixed results all round, like some really, really impressive ones and some things to work on. How do you look to improve this year and how do you look to sort of impact the team with that experience you bring? Yeah, I think um, when I first arrived, I think you could tell that the lads have been used to losing football matches and it was tough to sort of change that mindset. Um, I think in the second half of the season, you definitely saw a change and um, hopefully we can build on the uh, m momentum that the 18s um, obviously had a great season um, and, and hopefully we have some of them with us this year. And um, yeah, just, just giving the lads um, uh, a really good challenge, you know, to really prepare them for first team football, um, whether that's here or, or, or somewhere else. And just on the 18s quickly, obviously a hugely impressive season for them winning the South Division. How excited are you to sort of help some of those lads grow and sort of build their, build their career at such an early age? No, it's great. Um, and I was fortunate enough to do, to do that as well when I was 16. So it's, it's great to sort of um, have, have the same sort of memories as, as, as um, these young boys. Um, and, and yeah, now it's a uh, new season and hopefully they can take the confidence that they had and you know, take into this season and, and you know, the next couple of years and, and hopefully for, forge a career, um, hopefully here, um, if not, um, some, somewhere else. And just finally, what are your hopes on a personal level for this season? Uh, this is just to help as many lads as possible, and um, you know whether that's the, the players or the staff, and um, you know help the um, Southampton uh, uh, Academy um, uh, in in general, um, and, um, and and yeah, just help as much as much as I can, and, and continue learning the sort of coaching side, um, you know, which Dave Dave's been really good at that, um, and yeah, just. An, another year of helping people and, and hopefully um, uh, developing my own skill set as well.